the wind of pain. You made my life so beautiful, my beautiful love. You're taking away the shame. You're taking away the pain. You made me just like you, my beautiful. You're taking away the shame. You're taking away the pain. You made my life so beautiful, my beautiful. Hallelujah. Praise God, children of God. This is the best day. This is the day the Lord has made. This is the day that you and I will move from one level to another level. Child of God, Today, I really want to come into your presence with something that I believe that's going to change your life. Today is a beautiful Saturday, a beautiful weekend that I believe that God has purpose for me to meet you for a good reason. See, the Bible says that the Lord has a good plan for all of us. We are going to read this portion of the scripture that I want you to meditate about, and you will get results out of it. The Lord spoke to me about this portion and revealed to me by the Spirit of God the power that is in this portion. So we all talk about serving the Lord as ministers of the gospel, as men of God and women of God prophets of God, teachers of the word, evangelists, pastors, to mention but a few, not forgetting the apostles. There was something fundamental. In one of the qualities of a good minister of God, in one of the qualities that break forth as a child of God or as a minister of God, in whatever department you are, there is something we call serving the Lord with a pure heart, with a perfect heart. And this, it, it, has, it is having scripture best. Let us read. We're going to read from First Chronicles chapter 29 from verse 9. We search in the scriptures. There we go. First Chronicles chapter 29 and verse 9. The Bible says, and fundamentally, I want us to listen. It says, And thou, Solomon, my son, know thou the God of thy father, and serve him with a perfect heart and with a willing mind. For the Lord searcheth all hearts and understandeth all the imaginations of the thoughts. If thou seek him, we, if, if, if thou seek him, he will be fond of thee. But if thou forsake him, he will cast thee off forever. Wow. Father, we thank you for this powerful scripture. We thank you for your word. For it is the light and the truth. We thank you for the power that there is. We thank you for the manifestations that are going to be here. We thank you, Lord, for our lives. We thank you for our parents. We thank you for our spouses. We thank you for our husbands and wives. We thank you for our children. We thank you for whatever you're doing in our lives. We thank you for the divine protection, for the divine provision. And we thank you that we are here because you are. Dear Lord, sweet Jesus, Sweet Holy Spirit, reveal to us the power, reveal to us the incense, reveal to us the understanding and the wisdom of your word. In Jesus' mighty name I believe and pray. Amen. Child of God, we are reading from 1 Chronicles chapter 29 and verses 9. There is a difference between ministering because of experience. We have got great men of God. They don't need 
to you don't see them quote the scriptures and they're doing this because of their experience for so long they have been in this ministry that in this era in this generation it has to change see we have to minister to the children of god as we servants of god as men of god whatever minister whatever minister you are if only we can learn if only we can come to the children of god with a perfect heart he's talking about a perfect heart i've seen their reasons as to why miracles don't happen you fast you pray but you come to a crusade or you come to a congregation and nothing happens you don't know what that means for you to fast for you to pray and nothing happens you may be filled with the holy spirit you may have the holy spirit the holy spirit has visited you before you've been having encounters with the lord but something still does not happen and one of the things that may have limited that it's because you do not have a perfect heart a perfect heart a pure heart you come when you are free i can demonstrate this with power with the move of the holy spirit see if i'm praying with you and you completely disconnect yourself from me i'm gonna tell you nothing's gonna happen for you nothing's gonna happen in the physical realm and in the spiritual realm nothing's gonna happen but if you come for prayers and you connect your heart with mine and you connect your divinity with my divinity and you connect your humanity with my divinity let me tell you something something is bound to happen something is bound to happen why because there is a connection there is a divine connection and that connection must come with a pure heart with a perfect heart this is solomon coming to the father and they're telling him see solomon just like your father david okay come to the lord with a pure heart and if you do not come to the lord with a pure heart he's gonna forsake you in other words this is reason as to why we men of god or ministers of the lord fail to make things happen why because our hearts are not perfect how do we make our hearts perfect there are four we make sure we are walking in the ways of the lord we are walking in the commandment of the lord see there is a reason as to why some are prophets there's a reason as to why there's that office there's a reason as to why there's the um the apostolic office there's a reason why there are teachers of the word and evangelists you have to respect you have to honor the anointing in that office reason number two if you have worked in the realm of the prophet and in that office see it is one other thing to love the prophet and then loving the person in that office if you do not connect with that person in that office things are not gonna work for you i'm telling you see the bible clearly puts it and thou solomon my son know that the lord of thy father and serve him with a perfect heart serving the lord with a perfect heart by faith we connect by faith we serve the lord by faith abraham left somebody's home to go into the land of the strangers by faith abel gave an offering that pleased the lord with a perfect heart serving the lord with a perfect heart with a perfect understanding with a perfect manifestation of all whatever that you've told that's gonna happen see there is a difference between the move of the lord being having the holy spirit and being filled with the holy spirit these are two different things then add something they call a perfect heart serving the lord with a perfect heart if you do not have a perfect heart whatever you are trying to do whatever you're trying to demonstrate oh my goodness isn't gonna happen with experience in the book of experience chapter 1 verse 2 i've seen it 
When you go to minister and nothing happens, you just speak, you speak the word of God, but it does not contain the anointing. It does not carry the anointing. Do you know that as you're going to minister, they are words that you're going to say and God has brought people for that particular word. I've seen people being delivered just by worshiping. I've seen the Lord do miracles just by someone holding a microphone and say a couple of words and sing a couple of words with a couple of jitters and instruments playing at the back and there is a great move of the Holy Spirit throughout. And I've seen men, great men, come on the pulpit. They speak and you're like, I wish I left I, yeah, I mean, hours ago. Why? There's something wrong with the heart. He's ministering here, but he's thinking about the house. He's ministering here, but he's thinking about the troubles. Therefore, as great men of God, as ministers of God, as children of God, we need to understand to serve the Lord with a perfect heart. Solomon is being told here, just like your father David, serve the Lord. Serve the Lord in whatever thing you do. You serve the Lord with a pure heart. Dear Lord, I pray today for your children that they will begin to serve you with a perfect, pure heart. As they serve you, King of Glory, you will not forsake them. You've promised not to forsake us if we serve you with a pure heart, a perfect heart, a heart that has no troubles, a heart that is not facing challenges, a heart that is focused on your glory, that is focused on your life. In Jesus' mighty name, I believe and pray. Amen. Be blessed, child of God, and may God use you in all ways and always. Amen.